Hey guys, what's up? I hope you are doing amazingly fine. And firstly, before I start today's video, I want to thank you all a lot for the response that you guys offered in the previous video. And I just hope that you guys will keep showering this love upon me like forever. So without that, uh, let's go ahead. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a few points that many of you had asked me over DMs on my Instagram channel. If you don't follow me on Instagram, the link is right here. And it will be in the description as well you can go there and in this video i'm going to discuss a lot of things with respect to cpl mostly for those who are just adding cpl because many of you have asked me questions on where to do cpl from where did i do my cpl from or what are the things to consider so i just thought of making a short video it's not going to be very descriptive but it's going to give you a fair good idea about what you need to look and how to basically start about it what are the points that you need to keep in mind when you choose being a pilot a commercial pilot as a career so if you think that some of the points that you had in mind are not covered in this video i would surely tell you to just dm me uh, my instagram which uh, handle is down there in the description you can just send me a message and i make it a point to reply to most of you all and i do that let's roll in the intro Let me tell you the first thing, the main reason for me making this video at this time is that normally during this time of the year, it is an admission period for most of the flying schools around India and also abroad. So a lot of students already intake, mostly we start somewhere in April since I know I work for a flying school as well and I have my own ground school uh, as well. So we know that we start taking admissions, you know, almost from April and this is a time in June or somewhere in mid June where we already start. But uh, because of this current ongoing situation of COVID-19, uh, most of the things are delayed. But as we see that in phases, we are, you know, just taking out the lockdown. So maybe we can expect that probably by July, at least we'll have some amount of uh, schools which are open or which have started to intake new students in. And that is the very reason that I made. I'm making this video so that you guys have a fair idea of uh, what you need to keep ready. So let's get started. The very important thing when it comes to being a pilot, not only starting your career as a pilot, but also later on, once you have a commercial pilot license or once you're already an airline pilot, is your medical. Now, medical is the most important thing that you need to take care of. And that is something not very difficult if you take care of yourself. So the first thing that I would like to tell you is before you even think of joining any flying school or even think of, you know, make that thing in your head that, okay, this is the one thing I want to do in life. I want to be a pilot and that's what I choose uh, my career as is get your medical done. Now, what is a medical? A medical is basically a yearly test that pilots have to take in order to show that they are medically fit in order to fly an aircraft. Now, this is a mandatory requirement with age. This one year goes down to it like every six months but that is for the later part for now we need to uh, be assured that you guys are medically fit just to join a flying club or to just start your flying training now i said that it is very important because it is and by this i don't want to scare you guys because it's nothing to be scared of it's a usual body checkup which you might have done you know previously in your school or in your colleges or for any other reason for that matter but it is called as a class 2 medical now dgc has a certain requirement when it comes to your medical condition that you need to be fit up to a certain standard now the question arises that where do you do this medical the medical can be done from any DGCA approved class one medical doctor and the list of which I have put up in the description there are a lot of doctors throughout the country and you can easily find one in your city as well the next thing that I get asked a lot is what is what what do the doctors exactly test in this now it's nothing very difficult to pass or it's nothing to be scared of firstly it's a usual you know body checkup uh, just to give you a simple idea it is you have an eye test you have an audiometry to check your hearing capacity you have a blood test you have a urine routine in some cases you have a sonography or if you're overweight or something then you have some additional tests but again they are all easily doable so nothing to worry about that is what is your class 2 medical 
Now, once you do that and once you get a report, the doctor send your reports to DGCA where the DGCA checks it. And if everything is fine under the given parameters, you will get a class two medical certificate posted to your house. Well, you don't have to wait for it. If most most of the times, if your doctor tells that the DGCA the DGCA will approve it, it will be. So don't worry. It takes at least one to two months. Right now, DGCA is working really fast, so it takes around one month. approximately that much amount of time for the certificate to come but not that you have to wait for it you can do your test if your doctor assures you that you will pass it you will pass it and that is when you move on to step number 2 So you have cleared your medical you got your reports you're very happy and next thing what you need to think about is i know most of you all might be thinking it is the flying club no flying club is not here flying club is going to be point number 3 the second most important point to think about is the money now why i'm putting it here is because when a person chooses to be a pilot most of us most of you guys are usually 10 plus 2 and at that moment being a pilot is quite fascinating trust me it was for me as well i didn't at that moment you don't think about uh, the future you don't think about the bigger picture which comes after this so most of the people tend to join the club and join the flying club they start their training and later on they think that oh my god the amount of money that is needed to spend is not as much as we thought of it's a lot more so this is where the problem arises so to that i would like to say that the most important part is you arrange the funds or at least think a way and anticipate that okay at this amount of time i need so much funds in my bank so that i can transfer it and continue with my training now yes there are loan facilities available as well but there are quite uh, you know there are many clauses which you, the bank will put forward you'll have to mortgage something you'll have to have asset in order to get that because aviation is a career wherein as we know that the market is very restricted and not many banks actually opt to give loan especially education loans when the student is going to be a pilot so funds is a very important point now if you guys want me to make a video on what are the different ways you can arrange funds or what are the different ways you can you know still pursue your uh, cpl become a pilot without actually spending a lot of money you can put it down in the comments and i'll surely make a video on that telling you every single point about scholarships and so on to arrange your funds easily and efficiently Now the point number three is as I told you, choosing the right flying club for you. Now choosing the right flying club is again a thing that you need to actually do a lot of research on. Now when I say research, there are a few points that you need to keep in mind when you're thinking about what flying club you want to go in. And those points are first see the total package of the flying club. How much is the to your total flying along with multi engine along with whatever other add-ons you want to put in comes okay now in the country you will see the total amount the usual average amount uh, which any flying club would charge will be somewhere around 35 lakhs i would say and in that uh, cpl to aaram se ho jayega aapka now ye start hota hai 15 lakh se bhi and it goes up to 40 50 lakhs as well some flying clubs take that usually cadet programs cost you around a, almost a crore of rupee but again there are many other the added things which they do like type rating and all so that is where the cost goes on and plus you have a contract with you that yeah okay you will the airline of whatever the current program you are pursuing is going to take you later on so now the thing comes that if you guys do not want to go through the cadet program pipeline and you want to still stick to the conventional way of becoming a cpl well these are the things that you need to remember point number 1 see the total cost that is involved in the flying school that you are choosing okay as i told you earlier cost is very important so see a flying club which fits your budget second thing that you need to keep in mind when you're looking for a flying club is the total amount of students the intake that the flying club has now some flying clubs take students throughout the year so you know there's always a rush there if there is a rush there will always be a delay in your flying if there is a delay in your flying you know what will happen you see people will come late so choose a flying club which usually has a good flow of students coming in and going out and the amount of cpl students cpl holders that they are releasing every single year 
The next thing that you want to consider is whether the flying club has enough instructors to train the students because the main thing that you're going to a flying club is to fly. Now, if there are not enough instructors to fly the student, what's the point of that flying club? Okay, it's just going to delay a whole flying. The schedule is going to be very bad. You're going to lose a lot of time and it is very important therefore to see if the flying club has the correct amount of students. The ratio of students to instructors is right. Now, DGCA has mentioned a certain ratio and every flying training organization has to follow that so you can easily see that i'll put up a link in the description on what are the criteria that every fto should have as per dgca and not only that the most important part is to see whether the flying club has a cfi or no now cfi is a chief flying instructor who basically takes care of everything he is the head of the institute with respect to the flying training part and uh, under him everything all the flying training happens so if the flying club does not have a cfi or a deputy cfi for that matter they cannot operate the next thing that you need to check about the flying club is this location of the flying club. Mostly try to choose a flying club which is close to your hometown so that sometimes if the flying club is in the same place where you live, you'll save up a lot on accommodation and food charges. But again, if that is not possible, see for a flying club which is at a good place. Don't go to a flying club which is very remote because in case that sometimes you might have to commute due to emergency, it might get a little difficult for you. So see a flying club which has a good location and also from the point of view that it is in a place where uh, there is not much of rainfall or uh, you do, will not suffer fog from the problem of fog during winter because if you, it is somewhere in the northern part of the country there is a lot of issues with respect to visibility during winters and if it's somewhere in the rainy areas then again that's going to be a problem as well because during the monsoon you will not be able to fly a lot because of storm formations the next important part is to see how many aircrafts the flying club has and uh, whether they are properly serviced or know how old are the aircrafts now you'll think that where will i get this information it's very easily available you can just you know search online you can google it most of the flying club have their own websites and so and uh, usually unpe sab hota hai information ki kitne aircrafts hai unke registration you can just check the dgca website there you can just find out ev about every flying club again i'll put a link to all the flying clubs uh, which are registered under dgca in my description now the last and most important point related to choosing the correct flying club is seeing the quality of training that the client the flying club is providing because you need to balance two things firstly the cost of your training try to get a flying club which is which has a good package the next thing is that it provides good quality of training because uh, how much ever you disagree ki this is just my initial part this is the most important part these are like your baby steps in the whole in towards your whole career as a pilot because agar abhi aapne dhang se nahi sikha okay if your flying club is just rushing through ki chalo din mein teen teen char char ghante fly kar rahe ho but kuch seekh nahi pa rahe so it is of no use especially when it comes to instrument flying instrument flying is a very very important part of your flying training and uh, we only do 40 hours of that during your whole 200 hours of flying training trust me instrument flying is what you're going to do for the rest of your life as an airline pilot and if the basics are not clear which the flying club has to teach you then you're going to suffer a lot during your type rating during your line training and as a pilot later on as well so how to get this information ki yaar flying club acha hai ya nahi the best thing is to ask the people who are a part of that flying club mostly students just go you can find them easily go to the flying club page there you go check the followers or something go try to interact with the students now most of the times they will be very helpful they'll tell you the exact things because if they are a part of the flying club they know exactly what is happening over there because if you go to the office you talk to the staff they're going to just tell you what they are told to tell okay they'll tell you that we are the best flying club and that is how it works every business promotes themselves koi bolega nahi ki nahi yaar hamare flying club mein ye kam hai hamare flying club mein wo kam hai they are going to tell you we are the best so the best way to know is ask anyone who has actually done their training or is going through in that flying club so best thing is to know why that me so ye to sab ho gaya flying club ke bare mein abhi next point hai to look at the bigger picture okay Till now we were thinking, ठीक है we are how we are gonna start, how we are gonna go ahead and how we are gonna do the training, where we are gonna do the training. The next point to remember is what after CPL, okay? So now you guys will say कि यार अभी तो हम जो start कर रहे हैं कि आगे जाके क्या होगा देख लेंगे. Guys, see, we are in a field 
you guys are going to be in a field which in my previous video I told you is very dynamic the ups and downs are crazy okay like you're going to go hey why you're thinking are abhi to itne sare jobs the and suddenly jobs gayab ho gaye so in this part you need to look at the bigger picture you need to have a clearer uh, picture in your mind ki after my cpl how much buffer period am i going to give myself to get a job to fetch a job and if not what are the other alternatives now i have made an i have made a video on uh, all the alternative jobs that you can do as a cpl holder after cpl while you're looking for an airline job the link is up here go hit it up see that one more reason why i'm putting this big picture thing in your head is because later on what happens once you become a pilot you know by the time you finish your training chalo let's say if you're a very good student in 2 years time you'll be done you'll be having a cpl but if there are no jobs sometime what happens at that particular age you tend to stress a lot ki what will i do i'm not getting a job all my other friends are doing something they are working as engineers as doctors blah 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 and uh, you know you tend to stress yourself and that is where sometimes you just are very depressed ki yaar i worked so hard i got my cpl and i'm still not able to do something so in this case that is the reason that i told you ki look at the bigger picture keep a clearer vision on what is going to happen don't live in a la la land ki theek hai mera abhi ek do saal mein khatam ho jayega agle uske do mahine baad main job karunga think from a point of view ki agar nahi mila to kya karunga so you know you'll never uh, regret starting a career as a pilot so the last point that you guys need to keep in mind while you are searching for your perfect flying school is see the quality of ground training now to be very 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 honest i have spent almost 2 years teaching uh, as an instructor and the one thing that i have seen is that flying schools around india are more focused on flying because flying is what generates revenue okay they lose on to the concept of ground schooling now as per dgca every flying school has to take certain amount of ground schooling for every student before they shift them to the flying club so they have to do your training 3 se 4 mahine ka aapka total ground schooling hota hai but to be honest the total quality of that is not very good and that's not with any specific flying club but it's throughout the country so what i would suggest you guys is to firstly start with your ground training now where will you do this there are a lot of private ground training institutes in mumbai in delhi and throughout the country i run one in mumbai as well and the best way to pursue your career and to do it as quick as possible is to first complete all your theory papers which you have to appear for as per dgca because once you have cleared all your papers you have any flying club to choose from okay एट दैट मोमेंट यू कैन सी कि चलो ठीक है मेरा सब पेपर्स हो गया विच इज द बेस्ट फ्लाइंग क्लब एट दैट मोमेंट नाउ वाई एम सेंग दिस बिकॉज समटाइम्स द टॉप फ्लाइंग क्लब विच वॉज दैर समटाइम्स गोज डाउन बिकॉज ऑफ मे बी सम इंसिडेंट एक्सीडेंट और समथिंग ऑर दी अदर सो इफ यू हैव क्लियर ऑल योर ग्राउंड स्कूलिंग थ्रू एनी प्राइवेट ग्राउंड स्कूल और एनी अकेडमी यू हैव a vast uh, amount of options available you can choose from any flying club which is the best and which assures you ki tumhara tumhara flying will be done in what 7 8 months or whatever the time period they are giving so in that way you are prepared and it is very you know it's that's the proper strategy i think that i tell most of my students to do and in order to complete it as soon as possible so if any of you want any help with respect to ground schooling i'm going to put the link of my institute in the description also you can as i told you earlier you can dm me for the details or anything you can email me the emails are also in the description and with that i guess i will end this video if you have anything if you have any queries feel free to text me on my instagram dm me or message me on facebook or whatever wherever you can find it you can just google captain maverick and there you will go so with that i think i will end this video i hope that you have uh, got everything that you guys need in order to start and boost up your career as a pilot so with that i'll sign off stay safe stay home and forever stay golden bye bye